Hello everyone, Wolfie here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do, jumping right into the game level 1. No talents, no upgrades, nothing like that. This time we have Roland. Now admittedly I wasn't actually going to do a video for Roland because I wasn't sure that he was actually going to be in the game immediately upon release, but now that I know that he is, I have decided to make a video on him. So anyway, Roland is a ranged damage hero with the tag Shooter. So. A lot of his damage output, much like the other shooters, kind of revolves around the left mouse button. And he has a little extra tools in his repertoire to do other things, but generally most of the damage, maybe around 90% or more, is going to be around his left mouse button. Before we get into any of his abilities, let's go over his stats. Roland has 1750 health as well as 15 armor, so slightly bulkier than other ranged damage dealers, uh, but about the same amount of armor. Let's start with Roland's left mouse button, which is called Blunderbuss. It is a shotgun blast that does a spread of bullets that each do about 15 damage on impact uh, and kind of have a very loose spread. It looks just like this. You'll see from a from a far range, I mean, it's about what you expect from a shotgun. From a far range, you're not really doing much because uh, the bullets, you know, aren't hitting as many, you know, not as many bullets are hitting the same target. But if you walk up close, just look how much damage that does. And you kind of like a, a small brief delay of, of reloading the gun with every shot. And you very quickly ramp up damage. Now this uh this this ability does not have fall off. And it's it's not quite hit scan, but it might as well be. Like there's a there's a small delay when the bullet hits from even that far away, but generally you're not really gonna notice because if you're if you're really beyond like this far, you really probably shouldn't be firing. But even from here, you're still doing pretty good damage. Next up is Roland's right mouse button, which is called Entangling Bolas. Shoot out a trap. But once upon a hits the ground, it uh, it arms and lasts for up to 45 seconds. On direct hit, uh, enemies take damage and are slowed for four seconds. And uh, and the the way that this is described is a little wonky because you can. You can fire the bola and have it hit someone directly, and it'll do the same amount of damage and slow, or it will activate a trap on the ground, which will apply the same damage and slow if they walk over it. And it looks like this. So launch it, and it kind of, you know, makes that trap on the ground, and any enemy that steps inside that blue circle will take the damage and be slowed. Or you can just launch it right at somebody. It'll do that damage and slow immediately, but it won't leave a trap on the ground. And once a trap gets... Once a trap gets armed uh, and stepped on, it will disappear. Uh, another cool thing about this ability that I actually discovered while recording is that it detects walls versus floors. It will actually bounce off of walls and just kind of ricochet, uh, <laughs> trying its best to follow normal you know, physics. Uh, but it'll bounce right off and then go to the, wherever the nearest ground is and then arm. It's really fun. And uh, I believe, you know, I don't believe that there is a limit to the amount of bullets that can be on the floor. It's just it lasts for 45 seconds. And once, you know, either it'll get stepped on or it'll expire. Uh, and the ability also has a 10 second cooldown. So you can have roughly about average three or four on the field at once. Now we're going to go over his E. I'm going to skip Q for a moment because uh, it's a little strange. But E is called Grappling Hook. Rightly pull yourself towards the target area, or on directly hitting the enemy, they will be interrupted and take a very small amount of damage. On miss, it will activate a 2 second cooldown. Normally it has a 15 second cooldown. So it looks like this. If I just fire it out, you'll see it goes on a quick cooldown, but nothing actually happens. But if I maybe hit there, then I get shunted towards it, and then I kind of after I hit the wall, I get a little brief pop up, and then I will land generally on top of the wall, if at all possible. Or, like the ability says, you can uh, hit someone directly. And this will actually, like, it'll interrupt them and then pull you directly to where that person is. So, it does a little bit of damage and then pulls you in right away. And as soon as you get in, you can just unleash a blast. It's uh, it's kind of his own, kind of his only escape tool. Because uh, he's already very short range. So, you really want to keep this for kind of getting away instead of using it aggressively like that. But if you find yourself wanting to, you know... If if there's someone who's really low and you find yourself able to grab a quick kill, you can, you know, just hit him with the uh hit him with the hook and then pull in. And it, it is a skill shot. It, it's not a it's not hit scan. There is actually quite a bit of a delay before that lands. So 
important to know. All right, and Roland's last basic ability is his Q, which is called Attack Drone. Deploys an attack drone that attacks uh, a nearby target, and while it's active, you can reactivate Q again to have it attack someone else. Uh, each attack, uh, it shoots an attack every half second, uh, prioritizing enemies that are closer, and it'll do 15 damage on impact, and then every fifth consecutive hit, uh, and this is this is important, I, I do believe that it's every fifth consecutive hit on the same target will do an extra burst of damage. However, it, it seems with testing that I've done, it seems like enemies have their own like unique internal counter. So it'll remember how many shots it's fired at somebody and then it'll um, and then, you know, it'll remember. I, and that's probably has its own timer as well. Like those might expire if someone runs away uh, and is out of the line of fire for too long. But it looks like this. You just activate it. The drone comes out and it'll attack the closest thing. And you can see every couple of shots, it kind of releases this uh, purplish colored shot. That's the one that does the extra damage. And this thing will this thing will last until it gets destroyed. And like you can't you can't command it to go away. You you can't uh, you can't like have it stop. It'll only stop when you're out of range of somebody. So it's 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 kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time because it is like a it is like a damage increase but it also keeps Roland in combat for longer because see even even when I'm getting like really far away it fired for quite a while uh, but you can see that that square that yellow square that's who I'm prioritizing now like I said uh, the drone will last until it gets destroyed however out of combat it does actually regenerate health uh, in case you're not able to see it clearly it actually is regaining health while out of combat. But if it does get destroyed, it does incur like a 30 second cooldown, I believe, before you can even summon one again. So you kind of have to be mindful um, if these uh, if these Motigas could aim a little higher, you could see it's, it's taking damage when those fireballs hit. And uh, if it gets destroyed, like it should in just a moment, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Motigas, you could do it. But if it gets destroyed, it'll go on cooldown uh, and you can't summon it again until the cooldown completes there we go see 30 second cooldown for getting destroyed and that's really the only way to get rid of it um so you kind of want to kind of want to play around the idea possibly of almost being like almost kind of being sort of like a summoner if you want to keep it active um and yeah it's it's very strange it's it's something that we need to kind of get used to and mess around with uh but kind of try to keep it alive if you can because it is a it is a damage source it is kind of alert to two enemies that are nearby and it's it's gonna take some getting used to but i think it's a pretty neat ability all right last we have roland's focus which is called mega blast after 0.6 seconds you uh, charge up and then fire a massive blast of damage that pushes enemies away and also applies a burn each focus point increases the blast damage starting at 800 and then rank 2 is 1000 and rank 3 is 1300, which is so much damage. And also the blast range increases uh, the radius of the spell. Uh, Margaret is not alone anymore, being the only one that has an increased radius size for his, for his ranks of, of focus. But it's 10, then 12, and then 14 meters at rank 3. Also, it doesn't show, uh, it doesn't show how much the burn does or how much it lasts. Uh, from testing, I'm pretty confident it is a six second burn that does 50 damage per second and that does not increase with any ranks it's just the larger blast damage and larger blast radius but it looks like this charge forward and then there's a delay and they get pushed real far back and this doesn't like a this this might be another one of those yeah this doesn't actually interrupt it's one of those things where it only pushes doesn't actually apply the interrupt condition so don't get confused by this but uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat focus. Does a lot of damage and uh, kind of a self peel. And there's a short delay, so it can be interrupted, but it might be pretty hard to pull off unless you're really on top of your game. But that is it for Roland. Uh, I have to admit, it's very interesting and, and very nostalgic to see him back in the game. I'm, I'm very happy about it. He's got a makeover. He's got a new kit that plays roughly about the same as he did when he uh, was originally in the game. Uh, but uh, you can tell he's all about kind of that playing skirmishing between the front and like very close mid line character, you know, utilizing, of course, the shotgun and then the traps and just constantly doing huge chunks of damage. And uh, well, it's there's going to be a bit of a learning curve with him because 
he wants to be very close, but he doesn't actually have the defenses or health to kind of suit that play style. But uh, he'll be very interesting. I, I think he's going to actually change the game up quite a bit. Uh, but thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. And if you learned something new, make sure you subscribe, leave comments, share with your friends, all that sort of stuff. I will see you guys in the next one.